Fairly recently, Reddit ads announced simple campaign creation. This is a way for advertisers to create a campaign within Reddit ads, and it's supposed to be faster and easier. Now, as we know with many things in paid media, just because it's faster and easier, it doesn't make it better. So in this video, I will walk through a full simple campaign creation so you know what it takes to get one running, but then we'll also compare it to the original campaign setup so you can decide which option is better for you. I'm in the main Reddit ads dashboard, and this should be the screen you see after you log into Reddit ads. It's clear to see where we need to go to create a campaign. So let's head on up to the black button and create a campaign. Now within this account, I've already gone ahead and created a few campaigns. So there's one screen that you may be seeing that isn't popping up for me anymore. The first time we went through this process of creating a campaign after this announcement was made was that there were two options on the screen. One asking you which type of campaign would you like to create? The simple one or the original version? So you can choose. After you've gone through your first campaign creation since this announcement, they now default our account to just the simple campaign option. Pretty much they're trying to push this option, making it the default campaign creation option. At any time, you can switch to the advanced mode, the original way to create a Reddit ads campaign. At any point during the simple campaign creation process, if you do switch to advanced mode, you will lose all progress and have to start over. It's really not that big of a waste of time because creating a simple campaign is only three steps. But by the end of this demo, you should see if you would want to just switch to advanced creation mode or not. So unlike advanced creation, you start off a simple campaign by building the ad creative. In the original way of building a campaign, creating your ads was the final step. Notice how it says images or video. You can't upload both. If you just choose to upload one image, you'll have your standard single image ad. If you upload multiple images in this process, Reddit will automatically make the ad a carousel ad. And then video is video. If you would like to, you can choose old posts. If you've run previous campaigns before and you want to reuse some of the content again, but for now, I'll upload a couple photos and just start with a carousel ad. There we see the four dots over there to look at each individual card. I can click on the arrow in the preview. I can click and drag, change the order a little bit, and that's fine. But that's just one ad format. If you go ahead to this little question mark, there's the link to look at all the different ad specs. Or you can watch the previous video I did about Reddit ads, which covers the ad specs and sizes available. So you can check out that video here. So after you've selected which creative you want to use, you can scroll down a little bit and notice you have 300 characters to write a headline and it showed up within the ad preview. Next, you can choose your destination URL. If you want the display URL to be different, and I was going to use this example, notice that it may be shortened, but I'm okay with that. So the display URL is what users may see. Notice it might not be every single time, but even though this is what the URL looks like, we're still going to send them to the home page. I haven't added any URL parameters, but of course this is where you want to do it if you want to track performance within your analytics and CRM tools. Hopefully you do. Next, we can choose a call to action. You cannot create a custom one. You have to choose one of the options in the dropdown and then decide if you want to allow comments or not. Before you consider allowing comments, I heavily recommend that you research the audience that you're targeting to on Reddit. It might quickly give you the decision whether to allow comments or not. So for now, that's it we can only create one ad. So then we have to go down to targeting and delivery. The default option is broad targeting. It's pretty much reaching users across all interests and communities or subreddits. Most likely you don't work for Coca-Cola, Amazon, McDonald's. You want a little bit more specific targets. So then you can choose custom, but it's not as custom as you think. The custom option only gives us interest groups, which still can be pretty broad. Let's look at business and finance. They only break it down in a couple different ways. Let's choose a different one. Food and drink. That's it for food and drink. One more. Healthy living. Just three options there. So again, not that specific. You can use community audiences. Think of these as like subreddits. And this is the targeting option I start with a lot for many clients running Reddit ads. So click on the field and start searching for a few options that fit your target audience. There we go. There's PPC. Advertising. Let's do one more. There we go. Digital marketing. As I finally added some targeting options, we saw that the traffic estimator updated as well. Next, choose your locations. You can go down to the city level. There's your budget. Choose your bid, showing you a recommended bid based upon the targeting that we have selected. And then you could choose your ad schedule. 
Do you want it to run continuously, essentially creating an evergreen campaign? Or you can select the specific start and end dates. And then the third and final step before launching your simple campaign is to confirm the payment information. Ours is blurred out, but if you're already running Reddit ads, we already have a card in place, we don't have to do anything. So really, it's two steps for us. So now let's go ahead and publish our campaign to see what else we can do with it after it's live. All right, there's our campaign. Let's try to edit the campaign that we just created. Here are the campaign settings, and notice I cannot change the campaign objective. It defaulted me to traffic. We did not even see this step going through the simple campaign creation process. So Reddit is defaulting us to traffic, and we can't change this later on. If you go through the advanced mode creation process for Reddit, this is the first step that you run into, choosing your campaign objective. So if you want to run video ads, app install campaigns, shopping ads are in beta, you automatically have to choose advanced creation mode. So this might make your decision very clear about which type of campaign creation you need to go with. Let's click on this campaign again. Now we're at the ad group setting. Let's see what we can change with our ad groups. Open this up again, and then let's edit this ad group we created with simple campaigns. Scroll down a little bit. Notice that the audience type is grayed out. Audience type is available if you want to run any sort of retargeting with Reddit. We do have another video talking about pixel retargeting. You could check that one out here. But there are other audiences that you can also create to use as targeting options. And if I scroll down a little bit further, as well as exclusions. So when we go back and edit our simple campaign ad group, they're not letting us add any to the simple campaign ad group we created. The device options are all grayed out. I cannot change anything here. But if I want to change the carriers for some reason, that's still available, which makes no sense if the rest of the devices are blurred out. Here's where we can see the placement targeting. The main feed is going to be the majority of where your ads are shown, but you can now add conversations to the mix if you want to. Delivery for the most part will be the same. There we see our bid strategy. We only get the bid strategy options for the traffic objective because that's what we were forced into and we cannot change it. There's a schedule that we originally set up, but then now while editing it, we can see the time of day feature, which is one of my favorite for Reddit ads. And then if I want to choose the specific times of day for any day of the week, I can come back here, edit it, and then we can save the ad group. So yes, we can go back and edit certain things, but not everything. All the features that were grayed out within this particular ad group would all be available if I just start creating a campaign with the advanced mode. So we are still in the simple campaign. If I go over here and choose create a new ad group, we're going to keep it in this campaign. Here is where it gives me the full reign of what's available. Keyword targeting is now showing up, which we didn't get that in the simple campaign process. There's custom audiences, additional demographics. Here we can finally customize our devices. There's the placements, the full delivery options, and then we can save the new ad group. Now I'm going to click on the one simple campaign ad group we have, and there's the one ad that we created that was the carousel ad. If I go over, let's edit the ad, and here's where I can actually go in, change the ad type if I want to, actually fill out the full carousel ad, which I couldn't do in the simple campaign creation process, and add particular tracking to it. So it is more robust this way once I go back and edit it. But if I want to add all this stuff later on anyway, I might as well just choose the advanced creation mode to just make things easier. Just going to save this. Then even when I go back and create a new ad, it would give me all the features that we saw when we tried to edit the first one we created. So now that we've gone through all that, my opinion is just to use the advanced option right away. For this demo account, as well as clients that we're working with running Reddit ads, they're defaulting us to simple campaigns every time we try to create a new campaign. It's not that big of a deal, but it's kind of frustrating when we really don't want to use it. So if you are new to Reddit ads, don't be scared off by the lack of features. Understand that Reddit actually gives you pretty good control about who to target, who to exclude, your goals for the campaigns, as well as when you want your ads to appear. They will try to automatically include certain things like audience expansion, they're pushing their dynamic ad creative a little bit more, but you do not have to use it. Craft the right ad experience and use the proper ad format that you want to to push your message on your users. If you have any more questions about the new simple campaign creation process, or just about setting up a campaign on Reddit ads in general, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. 
If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.